Okay, so who was the creative genius behind this? I'm Doug with America's Best Restaurants. We're traveling the country, coast to coast, to find restaurants that you should dine at on a weekly basis. We're in Blue Ash, Ohio at Firehouse Grill and Brewery. Why are we standing outside? Because inside are three outstanding meal options that you need to know about, plus breweries in a name. How about a beer or two? You're gonna love what we're about to show you that Molly and her husband have put together here at Firehouse. So why don't you come with me, let's go inside, meet Molly, and find out what Firehouse is all about. We're back. We are inside. I'm with Molly. She's owner, operator. Yes, at Firehouse Grill, Blue Ash Suburb of Cincinnati, Ohio. Perfect. I said three items outside. We've got a couple beverages as well. Why not? Breweries in the name, so why not celebrate it? So, there anyway, Molly, let's start. Number one, appetizer du jour. We've got buffalo rolls over here. And we started with this when we first opened. And when we were coming up with what what foods go great with a wide selection of beer? And we came up with something a little bit spicy. I gotta try this. A little bit crunchy. It's in an egg roll and it's got chicken and pepperoni and a little cheese in there too. Okay, so who was the creative genius behind this? Well, Don't be modest now. <laughs> now we were coming mm. up with foods that would integrate well with uh, our wide variety of beer. And um, this was just one of the things we tested out at the time that has had mass appeal and done the test of time. It's lasted, been a top seller for 11 years. I was gonna say, this is probably appetizer choice number one across yes, the board. Uh -huh. Wow. Mm. Okay. One question I'd love to ask is how you get started in this business. Neither you or your husband have like big time culinary background. So what got you in from where, what you were doing to the restaurant business? How'd it come about? Well, it's a different route than most people took. I think we saw that this property was uh, for sale and that interested us because it's a great corner in Blue Ash. And um, we'd never, either one of us, worked in a restaurant before. My husband, early on, had worked briefly as a firefighter. So that's where the name Firehouse Grill and Brewery comes from. All right. um, and I had worked in corporate marketing for a number of years. And we just uh, gave it our all just <laughs> took the plunge and um, here we are. So we're using our maybe business side more even though we, we didn't have a culinary background. You know, one thing you and I were talking about off camera though, with the, with the, the marketing back end and everything, you have such a different understanding than what a lot of restaurateurs because of the marketing background. And being able to help understand that visibility and doing different yeah. things. You said you had tied into the fire department and you have like grassroots things happening in the parking lot to help get attention. Right. Talk about some of the mindset with that and what's that, what has that done to help the business? Well, I think we see ourselves as a mom and pop and we're just a locally owned one-off place. And so to set ourselves apart from other restaurants that have big mar marketing budgets and a whole team of people, we've just tried to integrate the community as much as possible. So we work with the area schools and we do school events and we waive all the fees and minimums for those groups and we've um, integrated the police and fire. We, for a number of years on 9-11, we bring the firefighters um, food, bring them a dinner. Uh, we've done flashbang with the SWAT team here locally uh, out in the parking lot. So we've just tried to integrate the community as much as possible because they're the ones who we're here for and who pulled us through, especially the, the tough times of the last year. They're the ones who show up for us and whose kids work for us here, you know, yeah. it's just like we see ourselves as an extension of the community and we're so happy to see our corporate neighbors come in for lunches and happy hours and um, to celebrate bar mitzvahs and baptisms and political events or whatever it is people celebrate in our private party rooms, you know, 
happy to be part of that community. That's cool. Nice job. These things, by the way. Yes, I'm, I'm still eating this. Uh, item number two. Please explain. This is our Reuben, and it's a twist on a little bit of a Reuben um, than you usually have. But when we started, we opened on St. Patty's Day weekend. And so we sold a ton of corned beef. And so this is just something that brings us back to our roots. And also my parents or my grandparents were both uh, Irish immigrants. So oh, really? there's not too many Irish foods we can celebrate, but here's I'll one of them right this. here. Um, we smoke our corned beef in house. So it's got a little different flavor than your traditional corned beef. And uh, our Thousand Island has a kick to it too. So now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's pretty popular and it's sandwiched between the traditional rye that you'd expect. Um, but it's a fan favorite here and it's a very hearty. For those who love corned beef, I'd say you have to come and try it. It's okay. awesome. So was this family approved? Has the family tested it? Did they say yay, nay? Did they tweak it? What kind of feedback did the, you get? The family that immigrated is definitely not still alive, but you know, the ones that are. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> fully approved, yes. Okay. I figured that. <laughs> That's good. All right, so see, this is the beauty of this job. I get to ask questions and I get to eat. So item number three, this looks like there's a couple different things going on here. What's the burger? Yes, this is our bourbon bacon burger. And we developed this with a lot of the mm. menu items we have in mind. We've tried to be inspired by the beverages and integrate them into our food. So the experience just, uh, you know, integrates both of those together. And we noticed how our bourbon menu was really getting a lot of attention lately. I mean, we really developed it and we saw how that was taking off. So we wanted to pair something on our food menu that um, integrated some of those flavors. So our chefs created a bourbon bacon jam. So they've taken bourbon and bacon and they make it homemade every morning mm. and um, put an egg on top with some cheddar cheese on this burger. And it's just a flavor combination that people come. It's so unique and um, kind of just integrates some of the hottest flavors that are around now. So I'm going to be nice. I'm going to leave. I won't touch this one. I'm going to leave this one for <laughs> Austin. Austin's into burgers. So I'll, I'll be nice. I will eat a fry though, so. Mm. Okay, last but not least, the beverages. Talk about the uh, brewery side of it. You guys added it in, talk about the beer. Yeah, so originally this building that we're in housed a brewery before we purchased it. Um, and when we first started, we did not have a brewery, but we sold many other beers. We had over 40 on tap, but we added this at brewery um, in February, right before the pandemic. So we <laughs> opened the brewery and then got shut down mm. shortly thereafter. But luckily we've stood the test of time and we have about a dozen of our beers on along with 40 other local craft beers. And it's just, luckily we had the experience of, um, we knew what beers sold well here. We know what our clients like, the clientele that are coming in, our community members. So we had that data to work from. So we knew what types of beer to brew mm -hmm. originally. So we started with those and um, like a, a Sweet Amber. This is one of our more popular sellers. And um, this is our IPA here. So cheers. Cheers. I love my job. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ah. <sighs> Get to drink and eat. This is cool. Okay, so Molly, these are just a couple of the beverages, a couple food-wise. Uh, you're in Blue Ash. How can people locate you online, social media, plug away? Yeah, so we're listed as Firehouse Grill on Facebook and Instagram. Um, FirehouseGrillCincinnati.com is our website, so you can find us there, or you can find us in person. We're in the heart of Blue Ash on the corner of Pfeiffer and Reed Hartman Road. Perfect. They also have a full listing right here on AmericasBestRestaurants.com. If you're in the Blue Ash area, there's Montgomery, Kenwood, all of that surrounding right around here. You should be here on a weekly basis, no questions asked. If you're visiting the Cincinnati area, you know, it's a stone's throw to I-71, which zips right by here. You should uh, put this on your GPS and make sure that you visit this place when you are in town. So, also subscribe to our channel, click the button below, and you'll get more updates on what we're doing. So it's time to one more time. Cheers. Excellent. Thank you so much. 
Until next time in the next episode, we're out.